in this lesson we will learn how to group the data in a data frame after grouping the data we will perform operations on it first we will work on the groups concept then we will perform aggregation operations on it so herein we will first split the data into groups then it will be iterated and uh, we will view the group and perform aggregation operations on groups like uh, getting the mean of the group data let's see we will begin with the first example to split the object and uh, combine the result in the first example we will use the group by method to split the object so we will group the rows or columns into specific group so in this coding example we have uh, three columns player rank and year and we will group by the player column let's see the example we are using the pycham id okay the pycham is having a free and open source community edition we are using the same now let us create a new project go to file new project here in add the name of the project you can add any name okay click create the following is the path of our project click create our project got created here it is visible now let us create a new file right click new python file name the file i have named it demo1 you can add any name python file is by default selected it will automatically add the dot py extension because the python file is by default selected press enter we have created our first file we have five more examples so i'll create all the files right click new python file demo2 demo3 demo4 demo5 and demo6 demo6 okay here are the six files and now let us add our code and run it first i'll add the comments okay we have added the comments we have total five examples so i'll just delete it right click right click delete okay now start with the first example import pandas now let us create a data we will add this in the data frame let's say i'll add the object name data add the first column comma second column rank third column year okay that's it we have created our data now create the data frame data we have added the data in the data frame now display the data frame
okay cricket player records now we will group the data we will group the data on the player column okay for that create a resultant object that is res here data frame dot group by method and set the column in it now you can display the first entry using the first method after grouping res dot first this will display the first non null entry of each column okay go to file save all run now we have displayed a data frame first okay and the data frame is visible and the first non null entry is visible guys we saw how to use the group by method now we will iterate the group using the for in loop okay we will iterate through the group player one by one here is a second example i trade the group import pandas now we can take the data from here okay now paste it we have our data here with three columns and six records we have added it to the data frame and we have printed now what we are doing group by player we did this in the last example also let me add a new object data frame dot group by bracket add player we have grouped by player now i trade for name comma group in your output means group res the following in which we grouped add name here and print the name one by one and then the group let's see the output file save all right click run demo 2 first the data frame is displayed then uh, players are displayed one by one so there were two players by the name amit and david was only a single player and john were two also steve a single name so we grouped it and displayed iterated one by one using the for in loop so guys we use the for in loop to iterate through the group player we created a group using the group by method in the next example we will view the group using the groups property let us see the example view the group import pandas create an alias add data paste it here we have a three columns i told you before the data is added here to create a data frame three columns and six records and we have displayed the player records now we will group by player and display that is view for that directly you can mention like this df dot group by so we have grouped it by the player 
dot groups that's it let's see what is visible go to file save all right click run here and we have shown a data frame and we have grouped it like this we have viewed the group so it has shown the index value in the brackets 0 and second are amit david is third john is 1 comma 5 that is following 1 comma 5 the steve is 4 okay so this is how we can view the group guys we saw how we can use the groups property to view the group now we will perform the aggregation operations on groups using the a double g method we can get the mean or even get the size of each group using uh, these operations so we will see two examples first we will get the mean of the group data and in the fifth example we will get the size of each group ok let us see first we will get the mean of the group data for that first group the data and then use the a double g method with the mean method so herein we will use the numpy.mean method Let's see. Fourth example, get the mean of the group data. Import pandas. Okay, now get the data. Let's say we are taking this data, we will also add additional data. Copy paste now we have a data with three column let me add one more column let's say points i've added the points we have printed the data frame first we have created the data frame using the data frame method and added the data then we have displayed it now use the group by to group let me add a new object and uh, group by using the let's say column year now this time now use the a double G method to perform aggregation. Use group RS that is our object output for the result. Within that, mention points. We are getting the average of points. So it should be points, the exact name. Here it is dot a double g in brackets mention numpy dot mean np dot mean. Now for this import numpy as np. Okay, we already installed numpy if you remember for pandas. Pandas is built on top of numpy. So before installing pandas, we installed numpy and created an alias np. and we have performed the aggregation you can mention here mean file save all run demo 4 here it is ok cricket player records we displayed the data frame and after that the mean is visible ok here is the mean what I can do I can add uh, some more values to the year ok that means let's say I'll set it to 23 now I can right click and run Okay, now it's fine. 
we have displayed the mean in this way guys we can perform aggregation operations we will now perform the next example we will now see how to get the size of each group with aggregation okay we will group the data using the group by method like we did before okay and then we will use the the size attribute to get the size of each group let's see here it is get the size of each group import pandas as pd okay we have imported now get the data set right click copy right click paste okay here is a data with four columns and we have printed the data inside a data frame that is we have created a data frame using the data frame method and we have displayed it now you can see a group you can group the data create a new object let's say data frame dot group by within that mention the column through which you want to group that is player in this case aggregation is performed using a double g and numpy dot size attribute returns the size of each group let me print now group res dot aggregation that is a double g in the bracket mention numpy dot size but we haven't set this so this is the let's say i'll set it here numpy as np we already installed numpy if you remember pandas is built on top of numpy so we installed numpy before installing pandas in the previous lectures we have created an alias here for numpy and used it to set the size that's it okay go to file save all right click run demo 5 so what we did we just printed the data frame first and then we displayed the size that is the size of each group we have two players with the name amit and two players with the name john and records also two with amit and two with john that's why it's visible like this okay so we have displayed the size of each group using the size attribute in this lesson we saw how we can group the data using these examples we group the data using the group by method then we have performed all these operations including the aggregation operation as well 